here's the truth. Roe versus Wade, it's under threat like never before. Make no mistake, we are in the fight of our lives when it comes to protecting Roe. But there are bright spots in this otherwise grim picture, and we cannot lose hope. In fact, we need to double down. Since Trump appointed Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court and created an anti-choice majority, 12 states have passed 26 bans on abortion to directly challenge Roe. Gutting Roe would be devastating to women and families. And many anti-choice politicians aren't even hiding their true aims. They want to criminalize abortion and punish women. As far as I'm concerned, they committed murder. So do you think they should be punished for that? Of course they should. Women should be punished for having abortions. Right. Anti-choice lawmakers have spent decades appointing judges committed to dismantling women's rights. They've stacked the courts and refused to hold hearings on Democratic appointees, creating a pathway right to Roe. We, we appoint strict constructionists to the Supreme Court of the United States, as Donald Trump intends to do. I believe we will see Roe versus Wade consigned to the ash heap of history where it belongs. All they need is one case and five justices on their side. Well, thanks to Trump, they have their five justices and there are more than 20 cases in the pipeline that could spell the end of Roe. They're not just hoping the Supreme Court will weigh in, they're counting on it. But you know what they didn't count on? Us. Because we are the true majority and we won't let our fundamental freedoms be trampled. We won't sit back and we won't give politicians control over our bodies. We won't let our lives be dictated by people who can't possibly know what's best for ourselves or our families. Make no mistake, they're coming for our rights, so we're coming for their seats and sending a clear message to the anti-choice fringe. We are not intimidated, we're mobilized. We'll fight their unconstitutional bans and we'll pass laws where we can to protect and support women and families, not punish us for exercising our rights. This year in Nevada, after so many worked so hard to elect pro-choice champions to the state house and created the first female majority legislature in the country, Nevada repealed laws criminalizing abortion, bringing the state in line with Nevadans overwhelmingly pro-choice values. NARAL members there flooded the legislators with phone calls and letters. They drove hours and hours to the Capitol demanding action to safeguard reproductive freedom. The hard work paid off and reminds us what's possible when we speak out together. But that's not all. In Washington this year, lawmakers passed a bill removing barriers to abortion access, especially for immigrant and transgender communities. Illinois took a clear stand by passing the Reproductive Health Act, locking in a state law the right to access abortion guaranteed by Roe. With a new pro-choice majority, New York representatives passed a law that ensures abortion is no longer treated as a criminal act. Wait, there's even more good news. At the start of June, representatives in Maine passed new laws to make abortion care more equitable across the state so that women have access no matter their income or their location. Vermont and Rhode Island also protected the right to abortion this year, while Massachusetts and California could both still take action to protect our reproductive freedom before their sessions wrap up. Throughout America, voters, volunteers, activists, and legislators have come together to work towards a common goal, passing laws to protect our freedom and keeping politicians out of decisions they have no business making for us. That's amazing and important work as Roe stands on the precipice. Look, the anti-choice fringe is powerful and insidious, but we won't be silenced by a vocal minority that sees truth as an enemy and disinformation as an asset. They can ignore reality all they like, but they can't overcome the collective strength of our convictions. And we can't allow for there to be two Americas where women's access to abortion is determined by where they live. We are the seven in 10 Americans who support the right to abortion. And even if the courts are stacked against us, justice is on our side. Our freedoms, our lives, won't be defined by out-of-step politicians hell-bent on reversing progress and stripping away our rights. We won't go back. Just like we have in Washington, New York, Illinois, Nevada, Maine, and states across the country, we will speak up and throw down because we're ready for this fight. And together, we're going to win it.